What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have more information about Destiny 2 for you including what we will get in a beta, new exotic weapons and also pre-order exclusive bonuses and a few tad things more. But before we go any further I am giving away this Resurrectionist emblem. To end testing please drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Winner will be picked and announced on a Sunday but more details are on screen now. Okay, so I've been asleep for the past five hours and damn, I needed it. I've woken up to more info surrounding Destiny 2, so let's get into it. Okay, so more info about the beta has arised and what exactly we will be able to play during this beta. So we will be able to play the first story mission, Homecoming, which is the mission where you're fighting off the Cabal attacking the tower. Small spoiler though, people, we actually fail. Like you didn't know that already. We will also be able to play the Inverted Spire Strike, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to see more on that strike, I do have a complete gameplay of me playing it, which you will find linked in the video description. There will be also PvP for us to play, not sure exactly on the game modes yet though. There will be three new subclasses for us to try out, that being the Dawnblade, which belongs to the Warlock, the Arc Strider, which is of course the Hunter Super, and the Sentinel, the Captain America style Titan Super. There will also be three other subclasses we can use during this beta. At the moment though, we don't know for sure what these are, but if I had to guess, I'd say the Hunter's Gunslinger, the Titan Striker, and the Warlock's Void Walker. Now, I covered all beta info regarding release dates in the video I posted yesterday, which if you guys do want to check out, you'll find it linked in the video description. So that's it and what we will get from the beta. Pretty damn cool. Now we all know Sony and PlayStation have exclusive rights to the game. These rights bring them some exclusive content which includes a new strike called The Lake of Shadows where we dive deep into the European dead zone and cause mayhem. They get exclusive armour. They get an exclusive ship called The City Apex. A PvP map called Retribution. An exotic sniper rifle called The Borealis. And that's about it. So what's new here? Well, we have found out a little more information about this exotic sniper rifle, the Borealis. This sniper rifle indeed offers all three burn types, Arc, Solar and Void, which you can switch between at any time. Seems a little OP to me, PvE wise, but hey, details are scarce and it could just be a fad. We will just wait and see. So moving on. Now this is kind of big news. People, the Ward of Dawn is returning. Well, kind of. In an interview with PC Gamer, Luke Smith spoke of how the Titan's new subclass has the option to cast a bubble. This is what he said. One of the Sentinel trees actually has the option to, when you cast your super, you can press and hold that super activation button and you'll place a Ward of Dawn instead. So the Titan bubble is returning. So all you bubble lovers out there, I suppose this is good news for you. More details on this super though to come. Okay, so moving on. Now if you're a PC gamer and you pre-order the Digital Deluxe Edition on Battle.net you will receive exclusive loot, that being a legendary sword, a legendary player emote and a Cabal themed emblem. So loot for days for pre-ordering on PC, it's just a shame about that release date, 24th of October, DAMN! And people, that's all I have for you at the moment. No doubt though, more info will come, so stay tuned. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny videos, make sure you subscribe. Leaving a like is also much, much appreciated. Thanks as always though for stopping by and I will see you on that next one.